Western Conference semifinals, round number two in the American Hockey League playoffs inside Rico Coliseum. John Abbott, Bob McGill with you. The Marlies and Heat uh, take to the ice in the postseason for the first time. Take a look at the starting net minders this evening and beginning with Danny Taylor in goal for the Heat. His playoff record, 3-0 with a 925 save percentage, 2.00 goals against average. He is 1-1 one one versus the Marlies in the regular season. For Toronto, Ben Scrivens also with a 3-0 record, a 9-2-3 save percentage, a 2.00 goals against average, and he enters off of a shutout to close out round number one. They get an unfortunate bounce right off the hop where Walter lost his stick, and that gave the advantage for the Marlies. So Sylvester out in front, and Byron goes steamrolling into Ben Scrivens. Somehow the net stays on, and the puck stays out. Big save by Scrivens there, not with the puck, but the man without getting hurt going into the net hard. It'll be picked up. Walter has a man on the rush. Horak finds the late trailer. Wilson pad stopped there by Scrivens as he kicks out the left leg. Not done yet. Another left pad saved by Scrivens as a heat in succession. Pepper the Toronto goal. Right now... Abbotsford can't get into the Toronto zone. Great job through the neutral ice, and it's D'Amigo shorthanded coming in. Shoulders stop, Taylor, rebound out of the air. It hits the side of the goal. It's Fraser had to put it from glove to stick, and sharp angle, he still got a shot away. Nemus moves it back to the point for Wilson. To his right, slap shot, blocked in front, as I believe Mikus got all of that one. Now Wilson fires on, Scrivens finds the puck. They dig for it, but Scrivens will keep it covered. As the Heat hack and whack away with Jessamine parked in front. Blacker lost it just outside of his own blue line. Now Reinhardt carries in, tried to pass it off to Migo. Nice play. Nemes drives a goal. Stopped by Scrivens. He's turned around. They score. Scrivens was pushed around and tangled up. That left the top portion available. The Heat use it and open it up. 1-0. Dupuis. Banks it off the net to himself to avoid Wilson all in front. Hamilton robbed by Taylor as Hamilton was robbed by the left leg off a beauty pass from Dupuis. Kadri back to the point now with Gardner to Kadri. One-timer. Stop. Rebound. Knocked out of the air. It's somewhere underneath of Taylor. And all he has to do is lie down. And that's all about he could do. Wilson up ice. It'll be Kalanos with it. Dishes off. Rister comes through but hits a man in front. Now a sharp angle shot as Colano's put it through a screen and Scrivens got the paddle down. He remains with the paddle down as it's played back to the point. Breen shot, he scores. Breen goes over the shoulder of Scrivens through traffic and it's a 2-0 Abbotsford lead. Well, this is a miscue by the goaltender Ben Scrivens as he lets the puck get away from him. But what a play by Max Reinhardt. Well, Fraser doing his part here in the start of the third period to try and get some life into the legs of his hockey club and bring the crowd into it with a couple of thunderous hits. Colburn tipped on. They score! The puck changes directions. And Matt Flatten will get the Marlies on the board. Toronto has life in the third. Well, sometimes you need an ugly play for you to get back in the hockey game. And it is an looking play through the neutral zone. And it's the big man, Joel Coburn, and he just floats the puck towards the net. And Matt Fratton actually knocks it out of the air and redirects it down between the legs of the goaltender. And it scoots in past him. One minute and 27 seconds into period number three, and the Marlies are on the board. Picked up by Toronto again, but Holzer can't clear. Sylvester shut down the lane. Cadry runs into him. Zygamanis makes a pass to Fraser, who has Hamilton with a step on the right side of Breen, but he couldn't reel it in. Now it's given away. Hamilton in front. Cadry takes a whack at it. Pinned underneath the pad against the post. And Hamilton comes in late. He saw the black gold and started to dig for it, but the whistle comes as Taylor catches a break. Green in the corner, deflects it to himself behind the net just ahead, but look out! There's a big hit from Fratton to D'Amigo in the top of the circle, and he couldn't let his shot go. Fratton again levels the boom as Breen hits the ice. Colbert to Scott. Nice play. Scott backhand pass to Blacker. Couldn't make it through the slot. Blacker keeps it alive for Toronto, though. Now to Scott. In front. Here's D'Amigo, and he sent it off the post and out. I believe that grazed iron to the right of Taylor and D'Amigo, who's been the hero for Toronto time and time again, nearly tied the game. Zygamanis, sharp angle, test, down roll, rebound, stopped by Taylor as Hamilton is robbed again. 
Judge. Kadri gets it in, and there goes Scriven. Six on five, net empty. Kadri, sharp angle, doesn't hit the net. Banks off the end glass. Now coming in late, Zygamandis couldn't hold it in. Empty net for the Heat, and they will find it. As Debian sends it to the empty cage to make it 3-1 Abbotsford in game one. 27 seconds left. Marlies need a goal. They need a shot first to get one. Gardner, slap shot. Deflected in front. Stopped by Taylor. Hamilton couldn't get a piece of the rebound, but it was a fine first stop from Taylor as well. They keep the puck alive. Now it's brought to the blue line. Jessamine is there. He is crunched by Fratton. And that will be the last blow Toronto delivers in this game. The first win in Toronto all year for Abbotsford comes in game one of the Western Conference semifinals. They have a 1-0 series lead thanks to a 3-1 finish on Rico Ice tonight.